breaking news, Nigerians. U.S. court sets August 23rd deadline. For Tinubu to justify why Chicago University records should not be released to Atiku Abubaka. Hmm. Nigerians. Matter don't set for Tinubu. This matter now, it don't set for him. They don't they ask, is it that uh, the records are, are not visible or what? Why can't he just release to release it to Atiku Abubaka? Okay, let us find out. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. President Bola Tinubu has until August 23rd to present persuasive argument as to why Chicago State University should not be ordered to release his academic records to Atiku Abubaka, its arrival in the February 25th Nigerian presidential election, according to court feelings seen by People's Gazette. This deadline was imposed on August 9th by Jeffrey Glibert, the new magistrate judge assigned to the case at the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois in Chicago. Mr. Bubaka earlier this month requested court approval to subpoena Mr. Tinubu's files domiciled with CSU because he believed the document would clarify glary inconsistencies in Mr. Tinubu's background, including publicly available documents that suggested the CSU in the 1970s admitted a female student, bearing Bola Tinubu, who was born on March 29, 1954. The Nigerian president said he was born on March 29, 1952, although he had also at different times listed 1954 at his birth year in the past. He also recently expunged his primary and secondary education from his record after it was discovered that the schools he listed under oath in his 1999 round for Lagos governor did not exist anywhere in Nigeria. Mr. Bubaka believed the requested records would show which early and high school papers Mr. Tinubu submitted to CSU before he was admitted to study accounting there. Shortly after Mr. Bubaka approached the court for the records, Mr. Tinubu promptly filed a motion to thwart the request from being granted, citing U.S. privacy law for students. But the courts appeared interested in allowing the case to proceed. After Mr. Bubaka argued it has a valid jurisdiction, the judge has now set a deadline mandating Mr. Tunubu to submit his argument by August 23rd as to why SC CSU must keep its record from Mr. Abubakar feelings should. Additionally, the U.S. court ordered Mr. Abubakar to respond to Mr. Tunubu's argument by September 9, two weeks after Mr. Tunubu's response was anticipated. The timeline showed the court was raising to the rule on the matter before September 21. When Nigerians' election petitions tribunal would likely deliver its judgment in the suit challenging Mr. Tinubu's election victory, Mr. Tinubu's questionable academic history is merely one of several grants that Mr. Tiku's lawyers are pursuing in Nigerian courts to nullify his declaration as president and ineligibility to stand for election in future. Claims ranging from narcotics dealing to money laundering and election fraud are also being 
argued. Mr. Tinubu, who was sworn in as Nigerian president on May, on May 29, has insisted he was the one who attended the, the CSU. Why dismissing his 1990s Nakrotri scandal as civil forfeiture proceedings that should not carry any criminal implications for his political ambition. Hmm. <laughs> Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. With all these, well, we are just waiting to see what Nigerian courts will do about what is a grand. Honestly speaking, <laughs> honestly speaking, this is just too much. Nigerians are eagerly watching to see what we Nigerian courts do concerning this. So guys, what's your take on this? President Bola Tinubu has until August 23rd to present his uh, persuasive, please pardon me, persuasive argument as to why Chicago State University should not be ordered to release his academic records to Atiku Abubaka, his rival, in the February 25th Nigerian presidential election, according to court filings seen by People's Gazette. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.